Shopify versus WooCommerce. Hey guys, welcome back to Eminent Website. And in today's video, we're going to be comparing Shopify against WooCommerce. So without wasting any more of your time, let's just jump into it. Now, before I begin with the video, I just want to say that be sure to check out the link in the bio if you want to get a free subscription on Shopify. So now having said that, let's move on with the video. So first we have Shopify. First, I'm going to go ahead and review Shopify and how you can set up your own shop on Shopify. And then I'm going to move on with WooCommerce so that you guys can get a full tutorial on how these two work so first we have shopify now what i want you guys to do is come over to their website and all you have to do is just simply sign up now to sign up all you have to do is simply enter in the email address and just simply click on start free trial option so i'm gonna go ahead and sign up and i will catch you guys in a little bit now once you've signed up they will ask you a little bit about yourself they will basically ask you are you already selling what is your current revenue and which industry you will be operating in now you can go ahead and you know give answers to these questions if you want but if you don't want to you can just simply skip so i'm going to go ahead and skip this for now and then over here all you have to do is just simply enter in some more basic information such as your first name your last name your address your apartment city and postal code and country as well and then if you want you can even add your phone number as well so once you have added all of the information, just simply click on enter my store. So once you have signed up, this is how it will basically look like. This is going to be your dashboard. Now over here at the start, all you have to do is do a couple of different things. So you have to enter in your product. You have to customize your theme. You have to add pages and then you have to organize your navigation if you want. And then you can add a domain as well to strengthen your brand so over here this was the layout and over here on the left side we have a couple of more different options so we have orders so in orders we'll basically you know sort out all the orders that we are going to receive from our clients and our customers and then down below we have drafts basically we can create manual orders and invoices to our customers that we can send to our customers and collect payments and then down below we have abandoned checkouts basically over here we will see the customers put an item in their cart but don't check out so you can also email the customers the link to their cart as well if you want to remind them that their cart is full so oh, after that we have products now over here as you can see you can add or manage your products now you can find different products by using a different tool that i will show you guys later on in the video but for now we'll stick to this one over here so you can simply add a product by clicking on this button but i will show you guys in a minute first let me go over all the other tools and options and features that this website provides after you have products and within products you have inventory over here you can keep track of your inventory of your products and all of the items that you sell and then you have transfers now in transfers you can basically manage your incoming inventory you can track and receive incoming inventory from your suppliers to your business locations and then down below we have collections so over here you can add different collections of all your different products so if you have a specific product or items of a specific theme let's just say halloween so if you have all of your products related to halloween then you can create a collection around halloween and then you can highlight all of your products and you can add all of your products within that collection so that people can know what that collection is about or you can go ahead and create a premium looking theme and you can say that these are the premium items that i have this is my premium collection or stuff like that and then down below you have gift cards basically you can create different gift cards so that can be sold as products or sent directly to customers now you can add different gift cards so that you can let your customers buy gift cards from your store or you can simply issue gift cards that you can send directly to a customer and after products we have customers over here we'll be able to manage customers and their information and view their purchase history and after we have customers then we have analytics basically over here we'll be able to get all of the necessary data for our shop basically we'll be able to track sales and sales history and online store sessions returning customers online store conversion rate average order value total orders and many many more basically all of the reports are going to be over here and then we have marketing so basically we can launch a mobile campaign over here that shopify will promote our shop onto different platforms such as google or snapchat or tiktok or whatever platform you want to add all you have to do is just simply create a campaign 
just simply create a campaign or you can view some templates that they already have set up and then down below you have discounts basically you can manage a discounts and promotions you can create a discount code and automatic discounts that apply at checkout you can also combine discounts with other prices as well and then most importantly this is the tool that i really wanted to show you guys this is the app section over here now basically over here you will be able to add different apps onto your store so we have Obrello, which is a drop shipping ad that can easily find products to sell on shopify and then we have exit intent pop-up which is an email pop-up that can upsell and cart abandonment that is used to upsell and manage cart abandonment which can help you count down the time and stuff like that and then you have facebook channel basically you can bring your products to facebook and instagram users by you know just simply downloading this app now finally we have sales channels and if we click on sales channels we can add different sales channels onto our shopify account basically we can add all of these channels over here which will help us to take all of our products from shopify to that particular uh, place so if you want to sell uh, your products onto facebook just simply download the facebook application app, app from their app store and then you'll be able to sell all of your products that you add on shopify over onto facebook and same goes with handshake same goes with google and point of sale and if you don't see a you know and if you don't see a channel that you want you can just go ahead onto their app store over here and just simply search for that product so that you can you know have a better experience and then you can sell all of your products onto that particular store so these were all of the basic tools that i needed to show you guys now let's move on to adding products so to add products this is a method that i use which i find is really really helpful and unique so what you need to do is come over to the app store and just simply download the obrello drop shipping app simply click on drop shipping app on obrello simply click on the drop shipping app Obrello from their app store and once you've done that you will see that this is how it will look like and you can simply add different products within three steps you will have to find products find the customers to buy and then never worry about shipping as well so let's go ahead and add this app onto our store and then i will show you guys how you can basically you know find different products that you can add onto your shopify store so simply click on install app and over here all you have to do is simply log in with your umbrella account or you can create a new umbrella account so i'm going to go ahead and click on create new umbrella account and over here all you have to do is just simply add in the email address and a password and then just simply click on create a free account so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and i'll catch you guys in a little bit so as you can see i've simply signed up and over here all we have to do to get started is we have to follow these three steps so we have to create or connect our shopify store and then we have to add our first product and then we have to go live and then we have to make a sale that's pretty much it so to find products all we have to do is simply click on the products button over here on the left side and over here, as we can see we have to import our first products let's just simply click on find product and once we've done that as you can see we are currently on aliexpress and we will now find different products from aliexpress so these are some of the products that are really really popping right now that are selling really really well what we need to do is and just simply click on add to import list at the bottom right here as you can see once we click on it the product is going to be added over to our import list now we can go over to our import list and check it out all we have to do is simply click on the import list button over here on the left side so once we click on it it'll take us to this option right here and over here what we have to do is we have to change the title of the product so this is the product right here so i'm just simply going to keep this option right here and then as i said before if you already have a collection you can add this to that collection and then down below you have choose type now you can choose the type or the list in which you want it to you know be uh, be inserted on and then you have tags over here now you can add different tags and now as you can see the list is empty right now we can add different tags onto our shopify account later on so once we have a product all we have to do is simply click on import to store and over here we can choose in which status we want to import the product to shopify so we can import it as a draft or a active product 
depending upon what you want you can go ahead and choose the option i'm gonna keep it at draft because this is a video and i'm just simply showing you a basic tutorial so i'm gonna keep it at draft and simply click on import as draft okay so right now it's saying telling me that the product is not found for some reason the product was actually imported okay so it was imported onto our product so i was i don't know why it gave me that error but as you can see over here it's currently imported so let's just go ahead and click on it and we can delete that product from over here let's go over to our shopify account and see if the product has been added so if i click on product as you can see the product is appeared over here and we can go ahead and edit it the product out so we can see all of the details that we want and we can change all of the details if we want as well we can even change the images as well so right now this is the name and then down below this is the description of the product and then down below these are the images that we are using as you can see they're pretty similar to the ones on aliexpress that is because umbrella took every single detail that this product was that uh, that was related to this product and then just copy pasted it onto our shopify store so down below we have all these different uh, options on all, all these different variants the quantities and the pricing and stuff like that so it's pretty amazing so this is how you basically use shopify and how you can basically add different products and then you can customize your theme as well just simply click on customize and it'll take you over to their online store where you can get different themes to apply over to your shopify store so now we know how shopify works and all of the tools that are you know necessary and all of the tools that we need that we need to get started on to shopify now before we move on to woocommerce i would just like to remind you guys that if you guys want to sign up on to shopify then be sure to click on the link in the description so that you guys can get a free trial now that that's out of the way so now we we'll let's move on to woocommerce and see how that goes so i'm gonna go ahead and sign up now i'm going to skip the sign up process because you guys already know how to do that so you don't need me to tell you so i'm gonna go ahead and sign up and i'll catch you guys in the main step of this part of the video so i was signing up onto woocommerce and uh, I, they asked me a couple of different questions so i skipped those questions but this is a question that is really important so basically over here how would you like to install woocommerce so over here they have three options get woocommerce pre-installed auto install woocommerce onto an existing wordpress site or go diy and download the plugin now you can go ahead and choose whichever option you want the first option means that they will give you everything basically done for you they will give you the woocommerce plugin hosting wordpress and everything in just one click and then the second option is that if you already have a wordpress site you can auto install woocommerce in one go and then on the third option you have go diy now you can download the plugin for experienced developers or for those who prefer to do it themselves so i'm gonna go ahead and choose the first option right now and i'm gonna go ahead and choose partner and package that suits us so over here we have diy site grade basically we will do everything and then over here down below it is starting from 699 and then we have wordpress which is starting from 45 dollars so i'm gonna go ahead and choose wordpress because it is much more easier they do everything for us so over here they will ask us our site's domain so if you already have a domain just simply click on this button and you can add your own domain but if you don't have a domain just simply search for it so i'm just simply gonna search for so i just search for this one over here because this is a test and i don't and it's not a real domain so uh, you will have a list of all of the options over here so you can choose free for the first year all of these amazing domains that you want but i'm gonna go ahead and choose this one because it is free and this is a test so i'm gonna go ahead and choose this one over here so over here as you can see hooray your site will be ready shortly so after a couple of seconds they'll send you over to the checkout and over here all you have to do is just simply enter in billing options and then just simply pick a payment method and then you'll have to pay the total amount and once you have added all of your information this is how the wordpress is going to look like this is how basically the wordpress site looks like so over here you will have to give your name you will have to give a name to your website and then down below you can add a wordpress free photo library and other things as well and then over here on the right side you have the site setup basically you have all of these tasks that you should do 
to in order to set up your website and then down below you have quick links you can edit your home page add a page write a blog post edit menus customize themes change theme add a domain wp admin dashboard create a logo with fiber and many many more and then over here on the left side we have all of the other things as well so we have so we have upgrades basically over here we can upgrade plans then we have inbox basically over here we'll get different notifications and messages then we have posts basically we can add different posts and see the, our own posts and then we have media where we can you know change where we can select images or we can upload different images to our website and the same with pages we can add different pages to our website then we have the comment section the feedback the jetpack and then down below we have the main tools over here which is appearance plugin user tools settings and many many more so in appearance we can you know change the appearance of our website we can add in different theme customize we can customize it we can add widgets menus amps and additional css and then we have plugins basically we can add different plugins onto our website so if i click on plugins so over here as you can see woocommerce is over here let's just simply click on this button over here and then just simply click on install but to install this plugin you have to upgrade your plan to the business plan which is a really really hassle in terms of you know uh, shopify there wasn't really a need for plan i didn't even have to verify my account in order to set up all of the things so which is really really bad but that is because they offer a trial and you can select a plan afterwards and you can first you know experience everything that you we need that you might need onto shopify and then you can you know select that basically means so you can go ahead and download this uh, app onto your wordpress site and then you can use woocommerce on your website and start selling your products and start earning money but i would say the shopify is one of the better ones out there it's really easy it's really simple all i had to do was sign up and you can also sign up by clicking on the link down below in the descriptions if you just simply click on it you won't have to go to all of the hassle of entering in all of your information and stuff like that however you will need to enter in site's name and address and billing information and stuff like that but you won't have to pay any amount or stuff like that so that is it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to our channel and turn on post notification and remember to click on the link in the description box so that you can quickly sign up onto shopify and you can earn all of the rewards so having said that i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye